You're laying on it, so we can't get it. Are you protecting it? Buenos dias, amigos. I am Maddie. And I'm Jordan. And we are Tangerine Travels. We are at Cinepolis and Centro Magno. Which looks to be inside of another really, really nice mall. If you've been watching any of our videos for the past couple days though, you do know one thing for certain. We have put on miles and miles and miles of walking to make them happen. So today, we kind of want to do a little bit of the opposite and sit down and relax at the movies. And this is our very first time at the movies in Mexico. It was one of our favorite things to do in the States. Yeah, so going to the movies is something that we really, really enjoy doing, but since we've been in Mexico, we haven't had the opportunity, and also I think kind of we had these preconceived notions. We still don't know entirely what it's like. If this mall is any indication, it's probably going to be a pretty darn nice theater, but we still, as far as the language is mo the movie's gonna be in, we have no idea. Is it gonna have subtitles? Is it gonna be dubbed? No matter what, we're excited to be here and I'm also not even sure what movie we're gonna watch, <laughs> but let's go check it out. A matinee ticket price, it looks like 60 pesos. And what else do we have here? General admission is 74 pesos. This is something we've never seen before. Movie ratings here. Instead of G, PG, PG-13 are the typical ratings in the US, there's double A, A, B, B-15, C, and D. They start at double A for your chillins and then they go up from there to, I guess... The solo for, just for adults. The adults, thus for the adults. And here we have an automatic ticket machine. We're gonna choose Ready Player One at 150. We are not part of their Hello. loyalty club. Adulto dos. Before tax, it's 103. After tax, it's 120. So I think we're getting the matinee price, even though it said that started at 3 p.m. Oh. What seats? It looks like we can pay with tarjeta de crédito, Visa, Mastercard, American Express. <laughs> Palomitas. to walk around the mall and explore a little bit because as it turns out they don't let you into the theater until about 15 minutes before. Also the theater itself it wasn't open yet everyone was wondering why we were walking around. We were there at about like 12 45 and I don't think the theater was actually open yet which is a little bit different than we're used to in the U.S. where theaters open at like 10 or so so you can see a movie in the morning. but we rented out the entire theater. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's completely empty right now though. We're the only ones in here. We got some popcorn here, which is 54 pesos for a grande, so a large popcorn. It's a liter of water, 23 pesos. And Jordan, the sugar lover, getting a bunch of candies. I didn't get very much of it. You could choose how much you got, <laughs> which were about 20 pesos each. Kind of expensive for the small amount that you're getting of each of these. Compared to the popcorn and the water and some of the other prices, this is maybe one of the more expensive expensive options. If you got a bottle of water in a U.S. movie theater, you'd be paying four dollars and it wouldn't be this big. Same with the popcorn. I mean, this is a, you can see here, pretty good sized popcorn. In the U.S. this is probably going to be like six, seven, eight dollars. These aren't the type of reclining seats uh, that you would find at some of the newer ones. They recline a little bit, so they're, they're still comfortable seats. Oh yeah. You're probably going to be doing this a lot. The previews haven't started yet, but there are ads in here and they're all in Spanish. However, the music that's playing right now is in English. It's a Spanglish experience. No pain, no gain. We 
just got out of the movie. We couldn't say as much as we wanted to before because the lights went off and it was completely pitch black in there before the previews had even started. But we were a little bit confused right off the bat because some of the previews were in English, some of them were dubbed, some of them were in Spanish, and some of them had subtitles. So it was a complete mixture of all of them. And it wasn't until just now we started looking up at all the movie posters and we saw... Some say they're dubbed, some say they're subtitled, and others say they're in Spanish. It'll say subtiliada or something, doblada or espanol. Espanol. Ours was subtitled, so our movie was in English with Spanish subtitles. This was, a, I feel like, a pretty normal movie-going experience. I would be interested to see what the VIP experience looks like. One of our subscribers recommended that, but the theater was just a little bit farther and we wanted to walk to this one. That'll be for the next time, going to the movies part two. We ended up seeing the movie Ready Player One because it was the most convenient time. I thought it was a really good movie. It held my attention the whole time. I was pretty much sitting on the edge of my seat or actually breaking his hand <laughs> because it was kind of scary at some parts. I don't like scary movies, but we would recommend it. We hope you enjoyed coming with us our very first time ever going to the movies in Mexico. So you have to join us next time for the VIP experience. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel. And make sure to go that bell so you get notified every time we put out a new video on our adventures and travels in Mexico. See you tomorrow. Hasta luego.